practicing these daily now and I'm getting better at it. Um, what you want to do is come over to learn, click on learn. Oh, geez, learn, go down to practice, go to drills, click end game fundamentals and start from the top. What I do is I put this at the maximum 3200. You can use a slider any way you want it. But I do it to 3200 just so that, you know, I'm playing the best. And there's no room for error on my part. Sometimes I still screw up, but I wanted to show this to you because even though I'm not saying it's translated into me winning uh, more games, it's make, helping me to understand the game a little bit more. So this one is like, the idea is um, king opposition. You say, oh my, you left your pawn. Okay, and then you get to practice your queen, king endgame. Let's see, how do I want to do this? I'm going to go this L-shaped pattern, this L-shaped pattern. He's just playing games. Okay, pal. Just bring in the king now. And voila. All right. Let me just go back. And we select the next the next one. Same idea. Maximum 3,200 practice. It's a lot easier to do when you're not trying to talk and make a video that I'm uncertain anybody even listens to, quite honestly. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, and then again, we're back to queen, king endgame. Keep making these little L's. I back off of this now. I just get out of the way because I've stalemated that position before. And boom, done. Let's reset and do it again. So you notice, like, I'm starting to actually get faster at this. See any time? Oh, what did I do? You see the eval bar just dropped like that? And there's no getting out of this. Once you've done this, that you're not gonna, you're not gonna recover from it. So you just might as well hit the plus button, new position, and start again. Figure out what I did wrong. See, I think that pawn move right there is. Um, like a middle move that you need. Shoot. It's a lot of fun anyway. I have to imagine that it's making me better, especially if I were to ever get into this in an end game with somebody, I could feel pretty confident that I can defeat them all right let's go on to the next one king and two pawns versus king this one used to give me fits i'd see it in puzzles and i i've had it happen to me in real life so what we want to do is go ahead and give up that pawn and then step in front of the king one square apart push the pawn he has no choice but to come to the side you see that he's got to come to f7 once he does come forward and then boom, we're back to the same old deal again. Just doing this little L-shaped pattern, just like a knight. And I'm just kind of walking him down the board to his demise. That would be a mistake. No, it's not, you're fine. Yes, something got off here. What happened? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Okay. Yeah, that's important. Let's do that again. I almost screwed that up. I, again, it has something to do with talking to 
trying to make a video, it's just like <laughs> too many things going on at once. All right, and then we just bring the king down. However you want it, buddy. You decide. Okay, and then we go on to the next one. So anyway, just keep working my way down the board. King versus rook and pawn. So in this one, um, have you guys heard of this rule of the square or... Back about, geez, like 30 years ago, I had learned it's you do something like this. You figure out this pawn um, obviously wants to become a queen. But what you do is you draw a diagonal line all the way across the board like that up to your king. You're just drawing this big, giant box. As long as your king is inside that box, you can quickly calculate that you can catch the pawn. Now the trick, obviously, is we're back to this king opposition thing. That was a mistake on his part. And so that is it. That's what we want. Reset again. Let's do it again. He can get pretty tricky with that king. Okay, screw it up again. Boom. Reset. See if he'll do something else. He doesn't. Okay. One more time. I've had him do some tricky stuff here that made it very difficult for me. Okay. So that one, there you go. What else we got? King and two pawns versus king, a file apart. This one, you all, is still tricky. Um, I'd encourage you to use this little light bulb show hint as much as you need to in the beginning to get used to this. Okay, he's cooked already. And then I just take one, leave the other. You already saw that I know how to do the, um, well, if let's say, I don't know, let's say you just wanted to be cute. And then you just kind of ladder him all the way down. And boom, done. Let's reset and do that again, because he can come up with trickier stuff. All right. As much as he, if he keeps going back like that, I keep coming. And then I alternate these pawns to draw him away. Oh, no, God, I thought I almost stalemated him. Okay, and then again, L-shaped pattern, and then bring the king up, and boom, done. All right, let's go on to the next one. File apart. Let's go to bars rule. I think that's how you pronounce it. This, again, um, can be tricky. In this king opposition, it's like, uh, how do I say it? This is the move. You've got to take care of that first. And you're going to say, like, what are you doing? So if he comes forward, do I make the break? Whoops. Do I make the break up here? Let's see. Well, surely seems like that was the answer, right? And again, back to the queen end game. Bring the king all the way up, and then boom. Let's do it again. If he goes back like that, take it. See that? He just screwed up. All he needs to do is something like that, and the game's over for him. Isn't that a nice feeling? To just kind of know what to do? I most often don't know how to move my 
king in these positions. Let's reset and do it again. Come back. It's up to him if he wants to come. All right. Mistake. Notice how the computer doesn't even take that other pawn because it, and that's so bizarre to me. A 3200 computer, wouldn't you kind of know? I, I think you'd come up with something trickier than that. Okay, so that's that one. And then what else we got? Bars rule a typical draw. Ugh, this one is a nightmare. Okay, king opposition. I can't tell you that, that I have mastered this. I'd be lying if I told you that I have. Uh-huh. He's staying on it. Okay, so he's not letting me. Uh, how does this go? How does this go? Yeah. Oh, frick. I did it again. Let's try it. So, you know. Oh, how is that a lot? Oh, no. It says it's game over for me. GG, buddy. Lights out. So, uh, although I might have the other ones down, you all, you can see on this one, I, I'm clearly having trouble. I don't know how to do the draw. So what you could do is press this light bulb and ask it like to try to figure out the pattern. That's what I did with the other ones. So it seems like it should work with this one. Okay, come up. Now what? The pawn? Yep. It buys me a move. It doesn't really do anything, but it leads to the same outcome. Are you all seeing a pattern here? Okay, what? What's the next one? Here? Move the pawn? I'm going to say move the pawn again. No. Come up. Well, how? if I go back, he comes forward. And there we go again. I don't know. So obviously I got problems with the draw. I'll work on that on my own. Let's go zigzwing. This one, uh, I'll just show you the pattern. I kind of want to come around because he's forced to move. I don't really know how to explain it well, y'all. I'll just show it to you. Let's do that one again. I'm clearly not the best communicator. But just like the king opposition, it's sort of the same same idea. I protected my pawn. He eventually has to move away so I can grab his pawn. Then I sidestep and I just escort the pawn happily down the board. This is a different kind of L shape. I don't like it. Let me turn this. There we go. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Okay, and let's see, what do we got for the next one? I'm really going to have to work on that draw uh, on my own time. Oh, triangulation. It looks like I tried this at one point. Not today, I haven't. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this one live. I'm telling you guys, this is a lot of fun. When I first started this off, I couldn't I couldn't hardly even do the first one. All right, so what's the idea here? Um king opposition again. Some ring around the rosy stuff. That forces him into the corner. Oh no, I already messed up. 
Okay, reset. Do it again. As soon as you see the slider just drop like that, then you know, just forget it. It's over. Okay. Now it says mate in 27. So it's like stepping back like this. Um, now I don't want to come forward with the, hold on. I don't want to come forward because he'll come forward. How do I do this now? I think I do something like this. And there it is. You guys see it now? As soon as he came off to the side like that, he was cooked. I mean, I guess you could pick this up. It doesn't really matter at this point. Come forward one. And boom, we're back down to the same thing. You could do that if you just want to be cruel. <laughs> and I've played many of you that love to be cruel. <laughs> just torture me with like three queens or something. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Don't you hate to be on the receiving then? Okay, so let's see. Back off. Okay, so see how he's this opposition. It's like important for some reason to stay. It's some principle you just have to accept, I guess. Now, if I were to come up, he'll come up, and then that screws me up. So come over. How about that? Um, if I come up. He comes up. So back again. Uh-oh. Now you see that eval bar just kind of creeped down a little bit. Game over by repetition. So uh, so this is one obviously I need to work on called triangulation. Uh, not totally understanding what I'm doing just yet. He comes up, right? See, I think if I come this way, it's wrong. And yeah, it was. It dropped significantly. Check. How about that? Does that do anything? And yeah, it did. It's called stalemate. Good job, buddy. I had it the first time, you guys. What's going on? Okay, back. How about over here? See, because I can always get back to it. Now. There it is again. Back to even. Do it again. Light bulb. He says, come back. Now what? Come over. Now what? Come up. Now what? Come over. And there it is. Hmm, I hopefully I can remember that. Right? I have this part figured out. It's getting to that part. Just walking down the board. It's kind of fun snapping off pieces like Hikaru, like you know what you're doing. Where I clearly don't. That was a mistake. And it's kind of neat. Like I'm able to start noticing right off the bat. Like like I just did. You know. That's a mistake. Look at this. I'm, I'm starting to understand files. You know. Like how to shove them in a corner. And then I can just without thinking. I can just kind of. You know. I'm going to do that one more time. So it's back, over, up, wasn't it? Nope. <laughs> Repetition. Uh, what was it, you guys? Back. Yes. So he moves to the corner. Naturally, I would think, come up. He says, no, you don't. Move over. Now what? Again, now what? Over. So it's like once he gets in front of the pawn, you want to be in a position where you can slide over to get in front. Okay. 
Yeah, again, he's cooked. All right, got it. I think. Let's reset and do it again. So just to see if I can do it this time on my own. I am not very smart, I guess, because I forget stuff so quickly. So I think it's back this way, right? And then here. And then here. Oh, what about that? That I don't know about. Look at that. Apparently I messed up. Look at that. Ah. Oh. Boy, the things you learn. But anyway, all I'm saying is this is kind of a oh, he messed up. Um, all I'm saying is this is kind of a neat way to learn things, and it's painful at first. But I'll keep working on this one until eventually I understand the principles behind it, and it'll all make sense to me. All right, so that's it. I don't know. Um, hopefully that was somewhat entertaining for you all. Try it out. Remember, like I said, click learn. Whoops. Click learn. Go to practice. Dang, my mouse. Go to practice. Drills. In-game fundamentals. And there you are. It's right there. What do I have next? Coming up, I have king and pawns versus... So all of these I haven't done, you all. Look at this. On and on and on. All of these tactics I have not done. So something tells me the more I practice these, how long does this list go? Queen versus Rook. Queen versus Rook. Pawn. Break the Fortress. Use active and accurate piece play to black to place black into Zugzwang. Easier said than done, but that's the only way forward. So anyway, I didn't even know they had th this many I could do. I have a long way to go. Uh, hopefully you guys find that uh, entertaining, and you might be able to incorporate it into your daily practice routine, and hopefully it'll help you in your games. So enjoy. I'll see you all later. Have a good day.